Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let us enter the universe. The universe is everything that exists. It's a galaxies, nebula, neutron star, galaxy collision, black hole, binary star system, etc. Let's begin with the supernova explosion. When bigger stars, bigger stars, more big than sun, they run out of the fuel, fuel their core gets shrink and their outer layer bounces out, which causes a huge explosion that is known as a supernova explosion. And uh, after this explosion, there are particles, there are remains of dust particles which form cloud and they form a, ne ne a nebula. Now, galaxy. What is a galaxy? Galaxy includes a group of stars, nebulae, and interstellar material. Now, what is a neutron star? A neutron star, when bigger stars run out of their fuel, they either form a neutron star or get collapsed into a black hole. A teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh much more than a locality, and its mass is twice the, the mass of the sun. Now, when anything comes within the range of event horizon of the black hole, it gets absorbed into a tiny hole. And in, and in front of this, all the physics laws, all the laws of physics break down. Even light, it is, its gravitational pull is so strong that even light cannot es escape from it. And here we can see many stars and constellations. Galaxy collision. As the universe is expanding, some galaxies, some sometimes, some the part of some galaxies cross each other, and the smaller galaxy merges into the bigger galaxy. Whereas the supermassive black holes also merges into that bigger galaxy. In the binary star system, sometimes it happens that two stars revolve around each other. And one of these two stars sometimes start eating the other star because of stronger gravitational pull. What is comet? Comet revolves elliptically around the sun. As they go near the sun, they start, start to evaporate and leave a tail behind them. And as they go closer, as they come far away from the sun, they start losing their tail. Aaudhu billahi minash shaitani rajim Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim Allahu alladhi rafa'a s-samawati bi ghayri amadhi tarawnaha Thumma s-tawa ala l-arish wa s-akhara s-shamsa wal-qamar Kullu yajri li ajalim musamma يدبر الأمر ويفسر الآيات لعلكم بلقاء ربكم توقنون. Allah is He who raised the heavens without any pillars that you can see is firmly established on the throne of authority. He has subjected the sun and the moon to His law. Each one runs its course for a period determined. He does regulate all the affairs, explaining the signs in detail that you may believe with certainty in the meeting with your Lord. Allah says in His Quran. He has created the heavens. He has created the heavens and the earth in true proportion. He makes the night overlap the day and the day overlap the night. He has subjected the sun and the moon to his law. Each one follows a course for that appointed. Appointed. His Lord here exerted in power. He who forgives again and again. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الذي جعل الشمس ضياء والقمر نورا وقدره منازل لتعلم عدد السنين والحساب ما خلق الله ذلك إلا بالحق يفصل الآيات لقوم يعلمون. It is He who made the sun to be a shining glory and the moon to a light of beauty and measured out stages for her that she might know the number of years and the count of time. Allah did not create this but in truth and righteousness. Thus He explained His signs in detail for those who understand. Now we'll move on to the solar system. In the solar system, this is the sun. It is located at the center of the solar system. It is a medium star, size star, a huge ball of burning gases. It is at a distance of 145.3 million kilometers from the Earth. Its inner core temperature is 15 million degrees Celsius and its surface temperature is 6,000 degrees Celsius. Its diameter is 1 million kilometers. Mercury. Mercury is the first planet in the solar system. It is too hot and too small to have atmosphere. It takes only 88 days to orbit around the sun. Its 
Like one thing is extreme surface temperature, they think from 430 degrees Celsius. Next is the Venus. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system and the brightest planet in the solar system. Its surface temperature is 4, 430 degrees Celsius. Its atmosphere layer traps the sun's is that's why it's very hot. Third is the planet Earth. Earth is the only planet which supports life. It's a, it has one such natural satellite called Moon. Its diameter is 12,796 km. Its 71% is covered with water. Fourth planet is the Mars. Mars is called Red Planet. Its claim is an origin iron. That's why we call it Red Planet. My brother has displayed all the inner planets. Now I will show you the asteroid belt and the cuba belt as well as the outer planets. First, asteroid belt. Asteroids are a chunk of rock and metal which orbit around the sun. Many of, nine of, more than 9 out of 10 asteroids are found in this belt, lying between Mars and Jupiter. Asteroids also have their own moon. For example, an asteroid, Eda, has its moon, Gaspar. The largest asteroid is known as Ceres, which is 974 kilometers in diameter. Now, the outer planets. The biggest planet in the solar system and the fastest orbiting planet is known as Jupiter. Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and the fastest orbiting planet. Its diameter is 142,000 kilometers. It is at a distance of 591 million kilometers from the Earth. Jupiter has 63 moons, out of which four are the largest moon in the solar system namely Globe, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. The great red spot on Jupiter is a hurricane-like storm in the southern hemisphere, almost as big as Earth, and it, it is going on for several centuries. One rotation takes 9 hours and 56 minutes. Next is Saturn. Saturn is also a gas giant, almost as big as Jupiter. It is surrounded by a beautiful layer of flat rings. Although, all the other planets have rings around them, but the rings of Saturn are the most prominent one. A special feature of Saturn is that its density is less than of water. If you put it in a large ocean, it will float on it. It has more than 60 known moons, out of which Titan is the largest moon of Saturn. Enceladus, Tethys, Mimas, Dian, etc. are Saturn's moon. One rotation takes 10 hours and 40 minutes. Next is Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It is covered by bluish green clouds. It has many major moons, for example, Miranda, Umbriel, Titania, Ariel, etc. Its tail is 188 degree. It, a peculiarity of Uranus is that it rotates vertically, whereas all the planets rotate horizontally. And it also rotates from east to west, same as Venus but other planets rotate from west to east. One rotation takes 17 hours and 16 minutes and a winter on Uranus lasts for 42 years. Next is Neptune. Yes. It is the farthest planet from the sun. It has 13 inner moons, out of which Triton is the largest Neptunian moon and the coldest object in the space. Its temperature is minus 240 degrees Celsius. One rotation takes 17 hours and 16 minutes. Next is Pluto. Pluto was the first object discovered beyond, discovered beyond Neptune and was considered a planet until the dwarf planet category was introduced in 2006. It has three known moons out of, his, out of it, which Charon is the largest moon. Its surface temperature is minus 220 degrees Celsius. Now is the last and the cube of it. Cuba belt stretches out like a giant disk past Neptune and beyond the, beyond deep into the space. It is it is uh, it contains thousands of rocky and icy objects which measure 50 to 100 kilometers in diameter. It also includes dwarf planets such as Pluto. A new planet named Eris was formed in this belt in 2005. Uh, والشمس تجري لمستقر الله ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم 
and the sun runs its course for a period determined for it. That is the decree of him, the exalted in might, the all knowing. I talk to you about the moon. We see only one side of the moon because its rotation and revolution time is the same. The part of the moon facing the earth receives no sunlight. As the moon moves along its, it, or its orbit and along the margin of 50 minutes per day, we see, the, we see different phases of the moon. When it reaches, it completes its revolution, we see the full moon day. It again goes and completes its uh, revolution and comes back to its original position, which is known as the full new moon day. After the moon day, it is partially lit up, yeah. and after on the fifth day, a little more. On the seventh point five days, it is half lit up. On the tenth day, a little more. On the twelfth point five days, a little more. And finally, we get we see the full moon day. And as as we see the full moon day, uh, the moon completes its rotation and comes back to its or to its original place. So we can see the new moon day. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ وَالْقَمَرَ قَدَّرْنَاهُ مَنَازِلَ حَتَّى عَادَ كَالْعُرْجُونِ الْقَدِيمِ And the moon, we have measured for her mansions to travel till she returns like old and withered lower part of a dead stock. جزاكم الله خير.